Yeah, you get what's that supposed to be, Ron? The Allegheny River behind you? Yeah, generally you would see PNC Park behind me right here, but yeah, you can't see much this morning uh, because of the fog that we are dealing with now. It's going to be thicker in some spots, obviously, than others. Low lying areas, that's where it's uh, been the thickest at uh, this morning. 44 degrees, your temperature. It does look like things are starting to thin out just a little bit at the airport, starting to show partly cloudy skies now. Winds are calm. That also helps in fog development in the overnight hours. And yeah, our visibility is now up to five miles in Pittsburgh. Still have about 30 minutes to go. Just after 645 this morning is sunrise, so it's about to start warming up. And as that happens, we'll start to see the fog, uh, fog thinning out, especially because of just how patchy the fog is. It was fairly thick in Allegheny County. We just showed you a picture downtown uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, but we are still seeing some very thick fog in places like Washington quarter mile, Butler quarter mile, Indiana up into the Dubois area quarter mile. So you can see some of those spots where we're dealing with some fairly thick fog this morning. Once the sun comes up, we'll start to see things breaking up and thinning out, starting to see the fog lifting pretty quickly. I think by about nine latest 10 o'clock, all the fog should be out of here. Temperatures this hour 44 in Pittsburgh, Cranberry 47, most places into the mid 40s as we're starting off our day. Uh, things are dry now on radar. We did see a couple of very isolated showers in Mercer County this morning as one of the outer bands for the next system that will impact us in upper low kind of roll through our area. Just a couple of sprinkles up in the Mercer area this morning. 68 your expected high temperature today. I, I did keep it a 20% chance for rain, but that's really this morning as that little line of showers rolled through. Rest of the day is looking dry, partly cloudy winds out of the west 5 to 10 miles an hour. Here's how I think the uh, temperatures are going to look at the end of the day. We'll go uh, one place over in the Beaver area right at 70 degrees. Everyone else just shy of there. 68 in Washington, Connellsville 67 and Latrobe coming in at about 66 degrees. So foggy conditions through about 9 o'clock this morning. I'll put your 7 o'clock temperature there at 47, 58 at 10. And your 1 o'clock temperature coming in at 64 degrees, 67 at 4, and your 7 o'clock temperature there at 65 degrees. We'll slowly be looking at our rain chances over the week going back up. Very small chance today. Scattered showers will be possible tomorrow. Even though model data is really just not showing anything, this particular model, I do think tomorrow morning we'll have a solid chance along south of I-70 to see some rain. Everyone else into the evening hours will have a chance to see some rain. 68, your high temperature today. A few more clouds around. A better chance for some rain on Wednesday. I'll bring temperatures down to 65 for now. If the rain doesn't materialize, though, expect our high temperatures right at 70 degrees on Wednesday. Look at what happens, though. By Thursday, we're looking at high temperatures just at 45, 49 on Friday. So much colder weather gets here and is in place. The weekend's not looking too bad, though. Very small chance for rain and high temperatures near 60.